That's who you're named after. Because he was a hero? Because he was brave and kind and against all odds. He managed to find his way to a happy ending. Hail to the mighty Olympians! Disney Plus's exploration into Greek mythology with Percy Jackson and the Olympians has received the green light for a second season. The renewal followed about a week after the conclusion of the first season, where Percy, Walker Scobell, fully embraced his semi-divine nature and visited Mount Olympus, setting the stage for his next adventure. The first season adapted Rick Riordan's The Lightning Thief, and the upcoming sophomore season is set to bring the Sea of Monsters to life. Riordan, the author and executive producer of the series, recently confirmed that the writer's room for the second season is officially underway. Riordan expressed satisfaction with the progress, mentioning that the early scripts are in excellent shape. He shared a good first day yesterday in the PJO Season 2 writer's room. As I mentioned, we had a mini room going before the WGA strike to start the scripts on the assumption we'd get a green light, so we aren't starting from zero this week. Praising the team's efforts, Riordan expressed excitement for the upcoming character developments including Luke, Clarice, Mr. D, and of course Tyson. The author eagerly anticipates the continued progress of the writing team, looking forward to the next chapter of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Percy Jackson and the Olympians continue to be a hot topic at TCA24, with co-creator and executive producer Jonathan E. Steinberg confirming that there's a couple scripts that have been written for the highly anticipated second season. Executive producer Dan Schatz added that having an outline for adapting the second book has been beneficial. Despite acknowledging a lot of moving parts, the show's executive producers are impressed with how the story is shaping up. During an interview with Collider's Carly Lane Perry, Schatz revealed plans to incorporate story details from books 3, 4, and 5 into the new season, adding an exciting layer of depth to the narrative. Rick and Becky Riordan will continue their roles as executive producers for the upcoming season, ensuring their continuous involvement by being in the room at all times while the writer's room diligently works on bringing the beloved series to life. While the writer's room diligently works on bringing the beloved series to life. The updates from TCA24 leave fans eagerly anticipating the next chapter of Percy Jackson's adventures on Disney+. Season 2 of Percy Jackson and the Olympians is set to begin filming as soon as possible, according to co-creator and executive producer Jonathan E. Steinberg. While the demand from fans to see more adventures of Percy, Grover, and Annabeth is acknowledged, the team emphasizes the importance of taking the necessary time to ensure they get this right. Currently, there is no specific release window for Season 2, but fans can catch up on the entire first season, which is streaming on Disney+. Plus. As the production gears up for the next installment, stay tuned to Collider for any updates on the filming and release schedule of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. With that being said, Season 2 of Percy Jackson and the Olympians promises to introduce even more Olympians, expanding the fantastical world based on Rick Riordan's book series. Following the pattern of adapting each novel from the pentalogy per season, The Sea of Monsters serves as the inspiration for Season 2. Given that the first season slightly deviated from the source material, there is possibility of characters not originally in the second book making appearances in the upcoming season. Anticipate the arrival of numerous new Percy Jackson characters in Season 2, drawing from the content of The Sea of Monsters. These characters encompass a diverse range of mystical beings, half-bloods, and gods and goddesses. Additionally, some Olympians from Season 1 are expected to reappear whether they have a role in the second book or not. The writers may also weave in other Olympians not introduced in Season 1, adding fresh elements to the Season 2 storyline. The upcoming episodes are poised to bring a dynamic mix of familiar faces and exciting new characters to the ever-expanding world of Percy Jackson. Undoubtedly, Poseidon holds a significant role in Percy Jackson and the Olympians, particularly as the titular character's father. Considering his importance, it would make sense for Poseidon to be involved in Season 2, especially since the Sea of Monsters introduces one of Poseidon's other sons. Toby Stevens portrayed Poseidon in Season 1, skillfully eliciting sympathy for the powerful god of the sea and his absentee father. 
While Poseidon doesn't physically appear in the second book, his influence permeates the narrative. Given this, it wouldn't be surprising if the producers made room for Toby Stevens in the upcoming episodes. Continuing to develop the father-son relationship between Poseidon and Percy would add depth to the Disney Plus series and provide fans with a compelling continuation of their dynamic. The potential return of Poseidon in Season 2 could bring emotional resonance and further exploration of familial ties to the forefront. Athena, despite not making an appearance in Season 1 of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, played a crucial off-screen role, influencing the narrative with her actions that caused trouble for Percy, Annabeth, and Grover during their quest. As Annabeth's mother, Athena felt slighted when her daughter seemingly disrespected her by allowing Percy to mail Medusa's head to Olympus. This led to consequences such as Echidna and Chimera entering the Ark in St. Louis, despite it being a monument dedicated to Athena. Despite her pivotal influence, Athena herself never made a physical appearance in Season 1, but fans are hopeful for a change in Season 2. Similar to Poseidon, Athena does not appear in the Sea of Monsters, although she technically appears in Annabeth's vision during the siren scene. However, this shouldn't hinder the possibility of the producers including her in the Season 2 storyline. Annabeth's character is poised for more introspection and development after Season 1, and her relationship with her mother is a significant aspect of the demigod's journey. Even if Athena were to have a brief cameo in the upcoming episodes, it would be a worthwhile addition for Annabeth's character development and the exploration of her relationship with Percy, which Athena doesn't approve of in the books. Tragically, Lance Reddick, the actor who portrayed Zeus in Season 1 of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, passed away before the series aired on Disney+. His enthralling performance in the season finale left a lasting impression, making it all the more heartbreaking that Reddick won't reprise his role as Zeus in the show. If the producers aim to include the God of the Sky in Season 2, they face the challenging task of recasting the character. Reddick's Zeus was a commanding presence, and finding an actor to capture that essence will be crucial for maintaining the show's continuity. Given Zeus's substantial influence on Camp Half-Blood in the Sea of Monsters, it wouldn't be surprising if the character makes an appearance in the upcoming episodes. Additionally, the second book's ending directly involves Zeus, making his presence integral to the unfolding narrative. As the producers navigate the sensitive task of recasting, fans hope that the portrayal of Zeus in Season 2 remains true to the impactful performance delivered by Lance Reddick in the first season. Furthermore, in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians book series, Hera doesn't take on a prominent role until the fourth novel, The Battle of the Labyrinth. However, the show's creators, in their approach to storytelling, appear to be accelerating and teasing various plot lines. In light of this, introducing Hera in Season 2 could add an intriguing layer to the narrative, especially considering her connection to Zeus, who may appear in the upcoming episodes. Season 2 might take the opportunity to set the stage for the future tension between Hera and Annabeth, exploring their relationship and dynamics earlier than in the original book series. The show has demonstrated a willingness to adapt and rearrange storylines for a more engaging viewing experience, making the inclusion of Hera in Season 2 a possibility. This could provide fans with new perspectives on the characters and relationships within the Percy Jackson universe and keep the narrative fresh and captivating. Activating. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.